I think my job in athletics is to really use the vehicle of athletics and obviously football to bring people on this campus and to really display uh, you know what we do in here in athletics we're supposed to display the beauty and the things that are happening on campus in some ways it's the talent of our students the talent of our faculty our staff um, and display it it gives us a stage and so that's kind of the, the premises of that and you know I was just thinking you know what, what is a way that we can combine and they say I come up with ideas every now and then uh, a lot of them don't make it uh, to the table but uh, what, what could we do and I knew that they had a great engineering program obviously we all know that and uh, aeronautics I thought this would be an interesting what if we could produce something from the engineering program What's really interesting about this project is that it's a good example of how engineering uh, really works. Engineering works through applying skills. And so the, the development of the mascot, Dr. Khalid and the eight students involved, is a, is, a, is a great example of how engineering gets applied outside of the classroom. And that's what makes this so exciting. The idea was to create this UAS, or Unmanned Aerial System, that would look like the KSU uh, mascot, an owl, and that we'll be able to use at the football games, and, and potentially other games too. So the mascot, which will be a flying UAS, will come in at the beginning of the game, or, or, or during the break in the game, and you'll see in the distance it'll look like a, an owl flying in. We came into this as a senior design project for our aerospace minor, not sure what to expect, first day of class, and Khalid says, bam, you guys are doing a hexacopter for uh, KSU, and we're like, all right, challenge accepted. The first stage, or the early stages, was our concept design. We did a lot of hand drawings, not very good hand drawings, there isn't a straight line on those things. I mean, as we started to close in on a, on a final design, we started to transfer a lot of that to CAD. Um, we use SolidWorks program here at school which is basically a software that allows us to draw and build 3D components. Uh, we used a variety of on-campus machines to manufacture this mascot. We've been using CNC's here in the aerobotics lab. We've used uh, machines in the Q building, engin uh, mechanical engineering labs. We've also commandeered the five-axis CNC in the architecture building. And we've also used a lot of 3D printed components that have been created modeled by us and we've printed them in the G building and we also printed them in the Q building on their printers. We just like watch whatever is like. Yeah. Welding is probably one of the most labor intensive I'm sure. We didn't do any, Gabriel is, uh, he's an experienced aluminum welder which is one of the most difficult things to weld out there and he probably spent hours and hours doing it. He's, he's superhuman, I don't, I don't know how he does it. We've basically motorized the head of our craft. The head has some interesting features that we like to, you'll basically be able to go uh, take a test flight or ride along with the owl through 3D vision, which will be broadcast from the head of the craft. We existing off-the-shelf flight computers um, and a lot of off-the-shelf components, and we've integrated everything together. And now we're proceeding towards the end. Um, we're close to having it. The craft is coming together beautifully. There's no end to the things that we can do. Uh, there is, uh, like I said, every year we want to build on this first generation of aircraft and make it more and more capable and smarter. The rumor is is that Coach Buchanan is looking for a, a bionic linebacker. Uh, we hadn't started on that on that project yet, but 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 perhaps uh, after we complete the, the mascot. I'm excited for our fans to really first time they see that thing flying uh, to know that it's made by students at Kennesaw State.